Hi everyone, I'm Allie. Hi, I'm Anna. And we're going to be doing a spotlight for you today on clasps. Multi-strand Multi clasps. <laughs> so a lot of clasps with bigger projects, especially bead weaving, some bigger beads, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to use kind of more intricate or you, if you use a small clasp, sometimes your project can flip. Yeah, a lot of times your project gets wider, like you can see on these guys here. Um, so you want to have something that's multi-strand or especially these ones that are wide and flat. Yeah. You don't want something in the center because the ends kind of kind of flop flip, a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. this kind of holds it all together and gives you a better overall feel, especially on your wrist too, because it'll come together better. And we did a live um, event on YouTube and I was showing this clasp actually to Tara, um, one of our new coworkers here, and she was saying, I don't even know how those open. So I thought this would be a good way <laughs> to show you some of the different clasps. And mm -hmm. you have them super, you can get them like super fancy. We have from yeah. one to, one clasp obviously is gonna be a clasp. Multi-strand clasp, we have up to nine loops. What actually so makes a multi-strand clasp? a multi-strand class. So, good question. The <laughs> amount of loops, I would say, is one thing, but we also brought back, just to throw a wrench in there, some of these bars, because generally speaking, they are used for multi-strand multi items. Multi-strand, yeah. So how do you use the bars? So the bar, take one of those out of there? Yeah. Take so one out and we'll show how it opens. Usually on multi-strand class, um, they're have loops. for multi-strand because they have loops, so you can attach the end of your project um, multiple times. So either multiple times across one piece, or if you have multiple strands, separate strands that you're attaching, this will combine them and bring them all together. Um, but there's also these guys that don't have loops. They just have this bar and you can do a couple different things with them. You can still, um, just loop thing, loop the ends on there, but then they'll kind of be floating around a little bit. Um, if you're doing simple, simple products. Yeah, so you could take this basically and take the right. regular stringing and what you can do, a little side note here, mm -hmm. is you can take a crimp cover and you can put a crimp cover over it and you can have those so it separates out yeah. just the basic stringing. So you can see the advantage of having the loops here. It holds those two ends in place instead of moving back and forth. But if you also have a flat piece of peyote, let's say. Or leather or, or anything. Leather yeah. Or anything like that, a strip that you want to wrap around there um, that's going to pull then, in. Actually, that other peyote bracelet there, this would have mm -hmm. been a good one to use that for. So here we have a strip of peyote that mm -hmm. we use the bar clasp. These are called bar clasps generally. And the way they open the bar clasp, you got to kind of see in a same with the loop clasp. We could have mm -hmm. had this one here and actually sewn through and connected to there. But this one here, when you're looking at it, you can push that in. If you see it from the mm -hmm. back here, you push that in. And the nice thing about that is the tension is going to be pulled this way because that's the way that your bracelet is, but it opens side to side so then you don't have any tension on that thread. Yeah, that's very nice. And that's going to be the same way. Usually mm -hmm. a lot of them are going to be uh, push clasps that you're going to have, the push clasp being multi-strand. Sometimes you'll have the magnetic multi-strands. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, you're not going to see a ton of lobster multi-strands. You're going to need to like add jump rings on there. Yeah, lobster, And same yeah. with toggles. You can use it gets the little, connector ends, though. Yeah, you can use, there's a bunch of different connector ends. Same thing when it comes with toggles. The problem with toggles and multi-strands is that you have to get that toggle bar through the loop, so you run into problems with getting the toggles on. So most are mm -hmm. going to be this tube style or the fun push clasp or even getting into some of the newer ones, yes. this magnetic. And this oh, class Super is... duty magnetic. This is, I think, the only class that we have like this, where kind of all it actually has the bar here, like what we were talking about, and it has an end cone. So you so basically you attach, take this mm -hmm. here, attach it to there, and then pull it up in. Yeah. 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 So that's going to be for lots so of little strands. That's yeah. a fun one, actually. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna yeah. have to open that one. Yeah. It gives you the idea that you can also take a lot of those links and stuff and actually mm -hmm. put them into cones and make yes. your own after that, yes. too. That's a so great it gives an different idea. end cones there, yeah. Yeah. And then you have the Delica clasp sticking out. Yeah, so too. the Delica clasp, this is a cool one because it's multi-strand, but then you can um, make it match your project by adding in whatever color Delica you want. Um, so I have some Delicas one, here. Two. And it has three channels Yeah, that's working with it. And if you need help working with this one specifically, I basically took um, the glue. So we take the Loctite glue. Mm -hmm. We have a um, video on, I used this in one of the videos too. You take the Loctite glue, you glue onto those little channels and they're specifically designed for the Delica bead and for multiple strands of the Delica bead. This is a three strand one. You glue, you string, I think I want to say it's nine of them. We'll see how good my memory is. I haven't okay. done this for a while. 
See if it's nine. You can lay it on there. No, mm -hmm. way less. I'm not sure. It's How many you got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to be, try maybe 12. But basically what you're going to do is line a little bit of glue. You stick them all on a needle. And then by the time you put the glue on, you can kind of slide the needle out and all the beads will stay in place because they're going to mm -hmm. grip onto that glue. Yeah, so I just have a line of delicates here that I have on thread. Yep. And if I had put the glue in there, I could just rest those in there. And then pull and the then thread out. And then I might want to let it dry for just a, a couple just seconds. Just a couple so seconds. You don't get so the thread. It, it, yeah. Although, it, honestly, if you yeah. get the thread stuck in there, it doesn't really matter. You can just burn you down just, the ends, yeah. too. Yeah. So that's a fun. So that's a good way to make it match your project, whatever and colors. Actually, you that would have yeah. looked really nice on this patriotic um, American yeah, flag. Yeah, that would. That would have been a great. You could do yeah. the red, white, and blue and have that clasp with yeah. it. But again, the reason that Make we do yeah, multi-strand clasp, generally speaking, is that if you use one clasp in the middle of a project, especially something like this mm -hmm. English garden where it gets heavy, it's just going to end up rolling and flipping. Mm -hmm. So the multi-strand clasps are used, generally speaking, when it's a wider or even a heavier. And then what's the last one that you can kind of have over yeah, there? Yeah, so this last one that I have here is a multi-strand push clasp with a little something, a little something extra. Similar to our Delica clasp, it has a setting in the center that you can put um, either a cabochon or you can do resin. Um, so I have a cabochon floating around here. Did you see my little cabochon? I did, and then I don't know where, and where your oval went. What happened, to, what it, happened to your oval cover? There oh, it is. Oh, there we go. We got this so pixelated much one. <laughs> and then also next to you too. So you many. Just, we cups. just did a product spotlight. Yeah. Um, on There's some gel to sole here, and you can kind of gel to sole yeah. that in there. Yeah. So um, what you can do with these guys that have the bezel setting is you can either put a cabochon that's the right size, and all you have to do is glue it in. So that's super easy. Um, or you can watch our product spotlight on Gel de Soleil. Or the video <laughs> and, on there. Or the video. On. And learn how to do this. And this is just a um, clasp like the one that I have here, different shape. And what we did is put paper, um, an image, and covered it with gel. And Again, another way to just easy make way it match, to make it, match yeah, your product. Make what you're making. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing with all of these multi-strand clasps are if you're looking through a project and you want things to sit separately, a lot mm -hmm. of them are really decorative. Uh, the reason, honestly, I think we sell so many of the bar clasps and the bar loop clasps is because mm -hmm. they're not decorative. And that way they're a simplistic kind of way right. to finish off that multi-strand mm -hmm. clasp. But I say go big, go decorative, <laughs> and make it part of your project. So yeah. that's, that's uh, when I when I tend to add clasp, or even if you're doing something like this that you're gluing in that clasp, I like when it becomes part of the project that you're working with. And that's the opportunity that you have with a lot of these multi-strand clasps. We have a great selection of clasp garden clasps that you can take a look at. Tons. Tons. And, and you can most shop of them online are based on how many loops they have, how many yeah, strands. Yeah, so you can kind of narrow it down there. Mm -hmm. And you can purchase from us at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. We'll put links kind of right below us in the description box as as well. And also, if you want to see any of the different videos using some of these clasps too, you can check out the rest of our YouTube videos. You can also subscribe to us. So hit that little bell near, <laughs> I'm trying to point, right near Anna. Hit that little bell so, at the somewhere, bottom. Somewhere, somewhere there. there. <laughs> um, hit that bell. You can subscribe to us to get regular <laughs> updates from us at PotomacBeads.com, as well as tutorials, videos, better beater episodes. Uh, when we go live and battle it out, too, yeah. you, can, you can check that out. <laughs> and then if you want to, you can also join our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. Become a member there and get regular updates and from us. And show us what you show made us with, your you made with your multi-strand class. <laughs> and give some uh, tips, techniques, and tricks as well. Like the one that you can take those crimp covers, put those on the end. Definitely uh, comment below and let us know your best tricks or tips to working with multi-strand clasps. So that's it from us. Have fun doing your uh, jewelry and adding in those multi-strand clasps.